Hello again. This time we are talking about acoustics and speakers. I had a really nice project recently. I designed a studio for Finnish artist Osmo Ikonen. There was some major challenges in this project because the space is relatively small and we didn't want to waste a lot of space for acoustic treatment because there's going to be a lot of instruments and other stuff in the studio. These preconditions make it really difficult to design a studio that has a very good listening environment, especially in the bass frequencies. To make things even more complicated, there was a requirement of multiple listening sweet spots in the studio. Instead of making massive acoustic treatment, we decided to solve the bass problem with bass array. The sound from a single subwoofer propagates as a spherical wave and bounces from all the surfaces of the room. With a bass array like this, the sound propagates as a plane wave. This means that if you measure the system, you should always get the same results up to the upper frequency limit of the system, as long as you keep the measurement mic distance to the front wall equal. The upper frequency limit of the system is a half wavelength between the subs, in this case about 120 Hz. The system is an infinite array, meaning that if all the surfaces of the room would be mirror, you would see equally spaced infinite array of subwoofers. The horizontal and vertical distance of the subwoofers doesn't need to be the same, but the longer distance defines the upper frequency limit of the system. We didn't want the subs to be visible, so we covered the subs with a slat wall. The slats were designed so that it doesn't disturb the bass frequencies. These subs are 10 inch focal car subs. I'm using similar older model in my own studio and it goes down to 20 Hz in 30 liter or one cubic foot sealed enclosure. So how does it perform? The mid and high frequency acoustic tuning is still underway but everything related to bass frequencies is done. I measured the left main speaker and the subwoofer wall separately from three different locations around the mixing sweet spot. Here's the left main speaker from 20 Hz to 100 Hz. You can see that there is a quite big difference between the measurements caused by the room modes. Here's the measurement of the subwoofers from the same microphone positions. Even though the walls of the studio are not fully rigid and there's a lot of stuff already in the studio, the measurements are still almost identical. This was the first bass array system that I designed and I have to say that the results really surprised me. There is even more advanced array system called double bass array. This means that you put a similar bass array to the back wall and then you flip the polarity and delay the signal. This way the back wall acts as a active bass trap for the plane wave and kills the effect of the remaining room mode. So let's see, maybe next time then. <laughs>